Good afternoon. Hello. Well, I say good afternoon. Good evening. <laughs> good. Half to midnight. Hi yeah. guys. Something like that. Welcome to Fire Button Tonsillectomy. Um, FTL. F. T. Lectomy. Upside down, backwards. R. New game. New game. Right. This is FTL. This is faster than light. You guys have probably seen the guy streaming this already. Um. So. We're going to let Mike do this one, and we're going to just try and get through it as fast as we can do. We have predetermined orders from Starship Command, or in this case, Steve, Steve. Uh, to just get through it as fast as possible with as little detouring as possible. So we're going to see how far that goes. Your chance of survival are slim at best. I've essentially been told to just leg it to the exit. And see how long we last against the boss with no upgrades. Well, I didn't say not buy anything, I just said I'm, keep heading. I'm only exit. ever allowed to intentionally detour. When we need base, shot. yes, that's the plan. Just naming the folks. Are we ad are we advanced edition content enabling? No, let's go with you know, standard. I like the fact because Steve wants it short and sweet. It's got to be advanced edition disabled, on easy, straight for the boss. Right, no, no, wasn't it short? It'd be on hard, surely. But go for it on easy, so we have a chance of survival. We're not going to live through this, either, either or. Data, carry, blah! Right. The general gist of the game is you need to get from one side of the star system to your base before the rebels catch up to you. Every time you move, they move alongside. This is true. Right, so immediately we want to power up all of our main lasers because that's who we have first. Laser. Laser. Okay, Straight line, yeah. Along the way through space, you basically do. FUCKING ION STORM! It's randomly generated what happens, and your shields are off. You Yep, everything's off. Fucking eye on Storm, bro. Yeah, but he's got no. He's only got one. He's only got the weapons. If you target the weapons with all the lasers you've got, you won't be able to fire because he's got no shields. Because also in an ion storm. Mike. Right. Oh, good. Really good. Zoltan. Fire faster than Zoltan. Zoltan's the little green people you'll see. Fire faster when anyone. No one is Zoltan. No, Zoltan. one of Zoltan's on the system as well to get free bar power. Yes, Zoltan's actually give any electricity to whatever system they're powering. Basically what we're saying is the little green energy man. You pilot your crew or on the ship and they can manipulate how it works. Wherever Steve is, that room has power. Oh, yeah. I'm the energy guy. You are the energy guy. Uh, so the little the little creatures that you'll see on the side of the room there, we've got two humans, which is me and, me and Merc, and then we've got Steve, who is the energy guy. And Adam's a bug. Adam is a bug. He's very good at close combat. You're going to get different aliens and different things. They have different abilities. And it's um, random every time. It's always random. You'll never have the same experience Hang twice. On. You find the source of the distress call, a small research station here. It appears a small laboratory fire has got out of control and it's threatening to destroy the station. That one! Yes! You saved their lives. We did something, but Give we... me a chance to at least read it for the people. <laughs> they can pause. You said be quick. So you did, you, um, but yes, to be fair, Steve, you did say be quick. Okay. He's just following the, the prime directive. Following orders. Being told off. Following orders. Okay. Right, take that. Powering up your FTL drive, I don't fucking think so, Sonny. But well, yeah, it's a space adventure robot. No, not 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 the steering, the engines. They can still they can still warp with the steering intact. Oh, it's charging FDL actually. Yeah, no. Yeah. Why is a drone charging FDL? To escape. Because it's gonna warn everyone. It's the bastard. You Yay! missed every shot. You everything piece of wank. except the one that hit the shield. At least he's gonna you know the XP up fast. Every single shot. Yeah. See, pilot destroyed. FDL delayed. All right, that's fair enough then. We'll just take the shields out then and just sit there beating them up. Yeah, oh, you can't. Yeah, I've got airlock. Now, something I do like about FTL is the fact that if you open up the airlocks, it sucks the fire out, but it also sucks all the air out of the air the room as well, which means anything in there that needs to breathe, which is everything except one particular species of alien, um, will suffocate and die. Scrap. Can't use the score. Yeah, my. What seems to be at first a simple nebula is actually filled with a good amount of debris from a brutal exchange between several ships. Wreckage drifts by your screens and tumbles into the nebula to be lost inside. It's hard to determine the combat was worth without close investigation. So, first again. Yeah! What the fuck?! Uh, they can't hurt you. They've got a single shot laser on both counts. They can't bust the shoot. You said no grinding. He did say no grinding. Yeah. 
I didn't say no grinding. We're in optimal position where they couldn't hurt us and we could actually buff up our character stats. Yeah, so usually this is what you'd pray for. This would be a case of they can't hurt us and we can just literally peck at them infinitely. Now, if you look what Mike's showing you, he's showing you the experience that all the crew members have gained on the actual system that they're put on. If you put a crew member on a system, they will gain experience for everything. Sensors, health, oxygen, repairs, doors, everything that the ship has, you can gain experience for. And, well, you can't get experience for oxygen management or you can't get experience for health. But that's just because that room actually refills your health if you're damaged. Don't you think I'm not watching the screen? Fucking prick, fast wank! New to fire button, monitored let's plays. That way we can't do anything that we're not supposed to. Your sensors have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt one of the fleeing, one of the many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you or else it's trying to avoid your notice. Hey, ah. um, yay! Oh, yeah, we don't need missiles. Yeah, I usually go straight for the missiles to be fair because this one is a, I think it's called the Manticore or the Pegasus, sorry, the Pegasus missile launcher fires two missiles for the price of one and is just a bloody nightmare for the big bastard boss at the end. It's great. It's Solar a beast, flare. but it's also crew is on board. Right. You've been boarded, so depressurize the deck. And use your pilot to go and... and stick the back three in the medibay. And then then just open, yeah. Depressurize everything. Wait, hang on. Pause. There's a door, these two doors there. And then if you open these doors here and those two... Yeah, leave them shut. Sure. I know, but unlock those two doors there, so when they get through, if they get through, the room will already be empty. They're having a harder time getting through these doors now because Mike's moved the pilot to the door room. And that just means that this, the doors will be harder to get through. And they're all dead. Now Mike just needs to lo close all the doors again, give it a second for the air to refill. Or just charge yeah, them into yeah, vacuum. Yeah, just, just charge them in a vacuum, it's all good. Oh, look, oh, we've got fire. That's one of the dangers of being near the s near a sun while in space we combat. Need to jump. He's jumping. Charge it. Oh, right. Trying, bruh! Only one bar of weaponry is now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Probably. You detect a retrieval and escape pod floating nearby. You consider returning it to space, but you learn it's a mantis. The mantis is what I jettison the pod, because they normally massacre a crew member. Yeah, they do. Heal the crew. Repair your systems. I'll so many you, you lot die in, I'm fine! Thanks for that, boss. <laughs> I cannot do it, Captain! It appears I'm dying of oxygen deprivation. <laughs> Sorry, Scotty, what's that? Oh. Yeah, and there's a problem with this. Although you can carry out all your Star Trek fantasies, you tend to all carry the curse of the red shirt and die in seconds. Yes, this is the thing. No you matter how. The shield thing you can turn on most when your weapons aren't fully operational. Yeah, I know, I'm fixing it. I also have a habit of backseating Mike. <laughs> you may have noticed. <laughs> the best thing is, though, he backseats me about shit I'm already doing. <laughs> Damn right. Asshole. Right, what have we got now? Um, we, ooh, hang on. We've got a rebel automated scout floating near this beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. Attempt to download the ship's data source or don't risk deactivating it. Well, I'm not allowed to leave, so I might as well just scrap it. Yeah, scrap it. Mike, you could have beat that in a fight. It's got a beam and an ion gun. Yeah, but it only would have access to data store, which I can't use because you said leggy. Well, no, I, I meant just, you know, head to a Ooh, you got a breach bomb. I got a gun. I'll sell it in the next sector. <laughs> you would sell it? I'd keep it, man. You might need it. Breach bombs are good, but you've got to get the shields down first, yeah, which can be... Breaching equals airlock damage. If he get well, Mike's going through the nebula this time, so it means some of our systems may deactivate, which could be anything from you know our shields to our sensors. Generally, sensors is what you lose when you're in a nebula. There is a race of slug people that live in the nebulas. Um, the that those people, in fact, no, that they're just buggers. They're just well, they're, they're, that's a pirate frigate, but it's a pirate slug ship. Even the pirates have different races and stuff. Or different. Yeah, there's a lots of alien races and all these different. I like the rock people, they're like really slow and cumbersome, but they're like immune to fire, and their way of putting out fire is the little animated character jumps up and down in an adorable fashion. Stamp the bastards! Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah you know it's a slug ship when it's got an overcharged shield, because that's, that's their thing. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Wow, it's been a while since I've played this game. It's been a while since I've played this game. So Mike's being tactical and immediately going for their oxygen supply, which they're going to have to take valuable time and crew members to repair, because we're battering the life out of their shields and probably hurting whoever's trying to repair the damn thing. Generally, when you've knocked the shields out and knocked them down, the first thing I usually go for is the weapons so they can't keep firing. Yeah, they can't kill us, 
Right, do we do we be merciful or do we blow them up? Five button of bastards. <laughs> I love the fact we live in a democracy. Working. You know that thing I said about Steve Packing to that shit I'm already doing? I'm just, I'm being, I'm being theatrical. <laughs> to be fair, we did get a lot of scrap for killing stupid slug pirates. Yeah. Slug pirates, not slugs. Yeah, Sultan. Oh, battery. The way it's Fucking ions! It's randomly generated. It makes it Search the wreckage. Yay! Anti-ship beam drone 1 and 32 scrap. Good call, bro. I tend to. I tend to. If, if it's wreckage, I will search it. I mean, the whole point of this game is gathering is not enough scrap to rip the crap out. Store. Ah, oh, yes. Sorry. I'm allowed to go to the store. You said. You said. You said we were going to get ice cream. <laughs> I lied. I know. You prick. Sell. You can get, no, you can't get a drone control unless you can sell your breach bomb for enough. Drone Drones are overrated. Yeah, but that would have given me an edge. Oh, uh, not with a combat drone. Purchase no, combat drone. All of the fuel. Wanna get another crew member, maybe? Uh, to be honest, all the important shit, man. Doors. Doors. Yeah, Steve doesn't look that Yeah, we've got to get someone on the doors. Who's that person? It's now Steve, too. Oh, I get an extra life? No, you just get someone else who loves doors. <laughs> <laughs> you got a door, buddy. Right, onwards! <laughs> We know. I will murder you all. No, we will murder you. You know, there's an airlock. No button. stress. Uh, I will regret this decision. They got I drones. do not think so. Sorry. Put the shield. Put the guns. Because those guns actually look bastard-like. Uh, one of them is a multi-laser. One of them is a big laser. That's a two-shot laser. And got a drone. Well, that that's going to be no problem. We've got two shields, so unless all three of them hit. Engage. Our shields regenerate fast enough that we should be able to just mill this. If we keep damaging that drone control, he won't be able to control his drone on over us. No! Kill! Okay. Now I'm the bloodthirsty one. Just a place to no mercy now. Well, um, uh, depends if, I don't know. Depends what they offer us, to be fair, because sometimes they've offered me some really cracking shit, and I'm like, I really do want that particular weapon that you're offering me. Yeah, take this bastard laser. <laughs> Take this, we'll kill everything in a single shot laser, and there is a chance that you won't get it if you kill them, so... This whole head straight for the exit room is actually sort of like... It really is working? How weird is that? No, it's the trepidation, because it's working for now, and then eventually we're just going to end up in one sector, it's like, Oh, I am fucked. They have just pulled my rectum out of my eyes. Well, that's the thing about FTL, isn't it? Yes, uh, you make a mistake, it will punish you for it. And plus, if you die, you have to start all the way again from the beginning. I don't know if you saw that with the guys when they did a live stream for this. Distress! I can't. Oh. Distress is on the main towards me. Well, it's too late now, isn't it? Okay. But uh, if you die in this game, oh, two shields and a supercharge. You know how you start again, you can't re-roll. You, you have to start in time. Well, no, you have to re-roll, you can't. So Everything you on the shields. On. Everything on the shields to begin with. Too late. Matter, oh no, actually, that's a, that's a that's a beam laser, and that's a four-shot gun. So yes. It's a two-shot gun. No, it isn't. That's it four. depends. Some of them look similar, but one, two. Oh fuck! No, you're quite right. I beg your pardon. What was the one? I I know for a fact you can get a four-shot laser. I thought it was the same. It'll be the upgraded version of that. It'll look the same, but because I, I mean, we've got an ideal shopping list to be so. Yes, I mean mine's usually two, three-shot lasers, which will take down a really uh, a decent amount of shield. One of them would be the Pegasus weapon, and another one would be an ion to take out electrical systems. So, you take down the shields, bomb or blow up the shields on their ship, and bomb and blow up the oxygen, and just cause as many hull tears as you can do. You haven't seen one yet on this playthrough, but a hull tear is you'll have a little crack in one of your rooms somewhere, and all the oxygen will leak out, and people will not be able to use that room until you've patched that crack in the floor. Which is an absolute nightmare when it's fires in one room, somebody's dead in another, you've got boarders on board, the oxygen's leaking out. It can get quite stressful, especially when you know you've got dear Steve to maximum fucking pilot points. You can all suddenly die from suffocation. Yeah, exactly. And oh you no, that's not even the best thing. The best thing is where you've spent ages. You found a ship that can't kill you. You've left your computer alone for ten minutes just to grind these levels up, and then you think, right, I'm now practically invincible. Go to the next sector. An event happens. Oh yeah, Steve was at by a fish. Yeah, the, the number of times that has actually happened. I mean, my personal. 
fucking uh, my absolute hatred one is when they've damaged my oxygen systems and all the oxygen just starts to gently leak out of the ship and I never notice and then all of a sudden somebody dies. Are you gonna invite the crazy guy on the own? Oh, we got a mechanic bug. A mechanic called Charlie. Mechanic Charlie, bug. Charlie, 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 Charlie. What's his name again? That'll do me. So now we have two bug people. No, your name's Steve. You hurt my brain. Please don't hurt my brain. Mission accomplished. I don't need drone parts. I will have fuel though. Fuck your drone parts. It's like they knew we were recording and I'm making it for two just... Yeah, we're gonna regret this later. Yeah, if you don't get to sector where you're in sector four now and you still haven't got any better weapons, so. But you don't want to told us to do a straight line! Yeah! You just want to see us suffer, you sadistic bastard. A little bit. Steve loves us really. Rush him! What's the worst that can happen? We explode? Have a rate. <laughs> what appears to be a single damaged ship is in fact two ships that have smashed into each other. There is a flurry of comm signals and damage. It's hard to determine what occurred. The vessel appears to be angry. They look to they are locked together by the impact and can't free themselves. This one's a trap. Ignore it. You can't do anything with them anyway. It's a it's a weird kind of like we'll crash our ships and use each other's ships to fix our ships and every time you try and interfere it's like, oh big head! We'll try and blow you up. Stealth? Well, I haven't got any stealth. We haven't got any stealth Hang things. On, oh, there is a full stealth ship on this, which is quite cool. We, you can unlock the next ship in the in the line of things. Oh yeah, there's a lot of ships to play with. Actually, you get the starting one, which is the Kestrel, which is basically shit. Well, there has a decent starting laser beam and missile launcher, but it won't see you through to the end by itself. Uh, we haven't got time for the weapon. stasis check. We haven't got time. I'm for not going for the secret zone. Yeah, we're not going for the secret zone. We don't have time for the secret zone. Not if we're doing a run through. Secret Zone unlocks special alien race, yay! Right, now, as you can see, you can see their ship suddenly, which is down to the fact that we have someone on our sensors, which yeah, is the newest bug people. And a bomb. And a bomb of some kind. You can see that they have the Engie, which is the robot person with one eye, and uh, they also have the bug person on helm, and... A border. A border. Shit. Alright, camera guy, and... Shield guy. Right, you may also notice that uh, he teleported on board, that's because they have teleporters on their ship. The one at the bottom, you may notice, uh, on their ship is a teleporter. Usually the first thing I go for after shield, as soon as I've got their shields down, they're pretty much at your mercy, but you've got to get their shields down first. You can also tell this is getting into one of the later areas, because that health, bro. I still oh, it's on fire. There we go, shield's gone, on fire. Next shot will kill him anyway. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, son. Maxing out one of these ships is an incredibly good feeling, I will say that. Look at all the distress! Look at all that shit I can't go to. Damn your stipulation! <laughs> I will point out Charlie's half dead. We got we got a random small bomb! Yay! Right, what's also, if you're not using the med bay, depower it. Yes, that's generally a good idea. It's, it's free power, it really is. Although there is an upgrade later on that allows you, as long as it's powered, to heal all the crew throughout the entire ship. But I believe that's the Engi special skill. Yeah, it's an uh, augment you can get. You can get it as another race, but the um, Taurus starts out with it. Tor Taurus? It's another class ship. It's the um, second ship you unlock. Another rebel checkpoint is monitoring this location. A number of civilian ships are awaiting inspection. Any of them could be a Federation loyalist. The rebels haven't noticed you yet. Do you A, fend for yourself and attack and escape, bribe the rebels to release the civilian ships with a minus 11 cost, or fly behind the moon and stay hidden? Fight! Fight! Kill them! They can't uh, hurt you anyway. Unless their drone's impressive. But they've got a tele- well, they've, they've got a big combat drone, but no way to get it to us, thankfully. And the drone's already hovering above our ship. Well, they've got a combat drone, but they also have a boarding drone as well. Uh, they can't teleport it across, yeah. so it's fine. That's meant for if we try to get there. Yeah. You missed, you turnips! Captain Merck there doing what he does best to inspire. Who's on guns? Fuck's sake, Steve. Hey, I'm maximum rank almost. 
He is. You still missed. I know. Once you fill a bar with green, Mike, if you would hover over some skills for me. Once you fill a bar with green, it starts filling up with gold. Once you've got to gold, you are master of that skill. The best crews have maxed out on everything, but that's where Mike has got with, where Mike says with the grinding. You don't want to max out on everything. It takes too much. Well, no, I like I like to max out on everything just in case somebody dies. That way, I have an interchangeable crew. Mm. I always have one person that is my everywhere but nowhere quite mechanic. So everything is monitored, everything is manned, and there's one guy that's just really good at everything that can be anywhere he needs to be. Just as an emergency oh, backup. Have You'd have to. The benefit of doing the pilot seat over the engines as well is if their engines get shot, their evasion goes down a bit. Yes. If you break the pilot seat, it goes to zero. Yeah. Break the pilot seat if you want to hit them, the engines only slow them down, but not entirely. Failing that, just keep using fucking missiles. Stop working on um I'd save up for weapons see in case you hit a shot. He's You've got wrong. some bombs to sell as well. Uh slow controlled nebula, we haven't seen the slugs yet. Slug people! They look like snails in hats when you see them. So slugs. Ah! Snails in hats. Sorry, store. Yeah, I'm gonna say. <laughs> store! I will hit you. Sorry, sorry. Page like two. Love Page you. two. Uh, oh shit! All. all just, the... just hold on for another shot. What was that one? Josh Cubin's got what? Uh, melee. Twenty percent more. Melee. Kick the ready. Well, that's something. Oh shit! Is, is there anything else you can sell, like a weapon and get a stealth system? That might give you a bit of an edge. Yeah. Well, the stealth system only allows us to. Well, stealth doesn't it? It doesn't allow us to do anything yeah, else. Yeah, but it gives you a chance to charge your weapons and stops the enemy's weapon from charging. Mantis attack ship. Mantis are the bug people, and he's gonna teleport about instantly. So any room that isn't manned, you want to you want to vent like now before they teleport, because guaranteed they will. That's the problem. Is it gets really tense and all. That. It looks like it's an MS Paint drawing we're interacting with. It's still a very um, charming and beautiful game. Right. Don't 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 vent the med bay. Don't vent the med bay. I'm not in the med bay. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Yes. Bro. Now, close all your doors. Close all your doors with the close all button and get everyone in there before you lose him. I can't get everyone in there. Power up your med bay, my reload. That's an idea. And now vent your doors. A bit like that. Yeah, that should do it. Venting your doors is always a cracking strategy. Right, so open these doors and vent the They're trying to go through to either A doors or to the O2. You watch where the little red doors are hammering and it just shows you where it is. You might need to move door boy into... No, oh no, don't. wait. Have they gone back on board? I think they've gone back on board. You need to take out their teleporter. Teleporter is not the ship. Right, put everything on the shield then, mate. Because you've got them too spread out. That missile launcher, That's weapons. Yeah, They're on board again, your engine room is under attack. And they're gone again. Yeah! Fucking got it there. Uh, tense! Right, now hit the shields. Trust me, it's cool, we got this. We go win! They have managed to get through with minimal hull damage, so. Yeah, I'm going to say, it's quite quite surprising, really. Our shields aren't doing too badly, but that three-burst laser, if that other rocket comes back online... That's why I'm keeping it And the fact we keep missing entire salvos with all four of our fucking guns. You need at least another dual laser or you're never going to hurt the big boss. I'll hurt it, just very fucking slowly. Yeah, we do need to upgrade the weapons. It's because Steve's not on the guns... Well, someone isn't on the guns again. Uh, that That's why our accuracy yeah, is suffering. No, it's uh, the rate of fire for being man. Is it does nothing to accuracy either? No. Oh right, I never knew that. I always thought it was something. It just, I always have someone maxed out on guns. The just... accuracy is always dependent on their evasion rate. It's not wrong, you know. Come on, just three direct hits. Rockets are back up. There yeah. we go. Close all doors. Return to stations. Heal up. Maybe vent your ship first. Or air. I mean, no, you know, pump air into it rather. Steve likes living on the edge. 
Also, every time they use, every time they repair, as you can see there with Bug Boy and Camera Room in the Sensors Room, he's repairing a system that is now red. It'll take him a while to repair it, but that will then go up in his repair skill, so he'll be able to repair things faster. Races have specific characteristics. Obviously, the Mantis Bug people are better in combat, but I think it's the Engi that are kind of like the masters of repairing shifts swiftly. Oh, wait, oh, well, yeah, you can. Yeah, it's a storm. That's I'm about, hoping for some good weapons. That's about as detour nice as it gets. If somehow you can beat this off, oh, no. Fuck's sake. Right, so just repair up, sell everything we've got. If we've got anything to sell, we've got nothing to sell. Yay! Yay, we're done! You have a decent look, considering. I'm about to eat those words, aren't I? It's a rebel fucking ship. Yep, you might want to close all doors. No, you've got a teleporter. Yeah, close all doors. They can take it. They can as well. They've got a three-shot laser and a one-shot laser. Shields have got to go first. Now we pray. Yep. No, leave, leave the door one. North, north side. Close that door at the bottom you just opened. Let's them in. Uh, this one here. Right, okay, now suffocate them. They're going straight for the door room. They are going straight for the door room. I tend to find certain races will do something instantly. The Mantis prefer to go straight for the oxygen supply. Now they go for the camera room. Ooh. Close all doors. Send crew back to quarters. They've also they've been very careful with the fast tabbing on this. Christ, we're going to need to get some really lucky with these damages. Are we doing on hold damage? Uh, we're all right for hold damage, but we've not actually hurt him yet. Oh shit! Pilot's getting done. Don't kill him. Eh, uh, rhyming is a bit clever. We need to stagger that salvo a little. They just fuck my guns. They yeah, they fucked the guns. We've also lost some oxygen supply. <laughs> Get someone back. We need, yeah, we need you back on helm. Power to weapons. Oh, no, I mean nice. power to weapons. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 that's what I'm thinking of. He's trying to fire them all at the same well, time. One, two, three, four, and to fire yeah, I've got to wait for him to charge. I'm sorry. It, is, it does get down to timing. I mean, if you can stagger a salvo, you can hit all the weapons, you can hit all the shields at the same time, which allows, it doesn't, well... Fucking missed! If some of them don't miss, mind you, it's a case of he's got to get all four shots in one go and stagger the shields down so they can't regenerate as fast. What he's trying to do is target their shields so they can't regenerate as fast, but he needs to hit all four at the same time. I keep yeah. missing. Fucking jab! I can't fucking jab, I keep missing. The fact that they've got four shots or five shots and then another one shot, it's kind of crippling our shields because we've only got two shields. Three now. Right, okay, we've managed to hit the oh, shields shit, I one. Shield. You managed to hit the shield the one. Okay, then. Take two guns off that, put them on there. They're refixing the shields too fast. You're going to need to really knock the shields out before you start moving guns anywhere else. There we go. Oof. Well, this rate, we're going to kill their crew before you kill their shit, which can be beneficial. Well, yeah, because it means more scrap. Yeah, but you see what we're saying, kids, about how fucking difficult the battles can become and how tense. We've got the shittiest, piddliest Now, cannons. now we've got the advantage because we've damaged the weapons enough that needed to take the big one that has more power on it, that needed to take that offline, and that was the only one that was damaged. The piddly little ones laser they've got on the right. It's back online. <laughs> I know, but yeah. we've managed to half the health, which is a start. And refocus fire on the shields. All weapons on shields first. Knock the shields out and target so the weapons. So have got one bar of shields left. Surely it should be... Yeah, but you're actually shit. <laughs> No, fuck no, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. It's that simple. Come on. Come on! Steve, bruh. Bruh. Bruh, man. Bruh! 
You're like the worst wolf ever. Yeah, I go, I'm dying! Indeed. <laughs> That's teal. Kapla. There we go. There we oh, go. Maybe take this time to lick music. Yeah, everybody heal up. Everybody conga line to the health bay. Now everybody get to the med bay. To the med bay. To, to the, the med, med bay. bay. Now everybody get to the med bay. Okay, stop. Hammer time. Copyright. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, it's midnight. It's first thing in the morning. I'm already dead. I can't be handling this shit. I really now, how do you know you are very much alive and I've broken the engine spike? Yay! You, you know what the single greatest moment of that was? What? We just went from Eminem to Eminem to Eminem. Seamlessly. Seamlessly. Without pointing it out. Bruh. Bruh. It should have been the good shit, bruh. <laughs> well, we've got maximum shields. Yeah! But you will never be able to afford a weapon. Oh, look, a store! Oh. Oh. Damn, a store. You're not going to be able to beat the big ship at the end with your fucking right, you have... little cannons. Oh look, a man to ship. Guess what? Oh, <laughs> they're fucking guns on that. <laughs> We're gonna die. It's not the guns. Target the shields first. All weapons on the shields, and you need to vent as many rooms as you can do because they're about to put two close combat specialists in our in our midst. Yeah, it's generally quicker just to close the doors you want to keep alive. Yeah. Yep. Yep. There we go. Poof. Now they consider it enough to go straight to the shield. They've detoured. Yeah, it's worth noting you can press Whoa. space and pause it and interact with it differently. Yes, it is always, you can pause it anytime. That big ass fucking missile that you saw fly past can actually penetrate your shields without actually going. Oh no. There we go. Now we're all right. Never the end of what you thought. Their shields are gone. So are ours. Well, I say that. It doesn't fucking matter because I that's. I'm about to die. That's got no yeah, it either. Yeah, yeah. And we've lost one. Adam's died. Right, and this is what you get for not watching all your doors. We're gonna win, but it's gonna cost us. No, yeah, we lost Adam. Name that new name, Charlie. Rename Charlie. We don't have Adam too. <laughs> Rename Charlie Adam too. That really wasn't even worth it in scrap. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, he lives. Spaghetti. <laughs> Uh, so heal up and fix all the fucking broken systems? Fix you in a minute. Right. Fix. Oh fuck! Adam was shield guy! Yeah, Adam was shield guy. Da, 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 da. So now you've got to decide between... I can't be weapons and shield guy! No, but you can be medbay guy! Or do you want me to leave you with one fucking leg? Oh, okay, alright. So we're gonna need either... Sp spear gets either gonna need to be door or shields, or we're gonna need sensors or shields. Personally, considering we're getting boarded left, right, and centre, and ripped yeah, a I'm new take one, him off take him off senses. Yeah. Adam two will be shield guy. He should replace Adam one. We're very good at this game, that as was you heard. Actually, Mike. coincidence. Yeah. But you see, this is just it. When they start, when you've got fire on board, your doors are open, you've got hull breaches, you're still fighting, people are boarding you, it gets hectic, you start losing crew members. You crew start members. You with missile launches. The missile launches are the deadliest thing in this game. I'm sorry, people love the lasers because they cause fire and hit multiple rooms. Give me a good rocket launcher any day of the week. Yeah, you're crippled, I'll let you I will let you heal. The words. Automated reroll we can't, yeah. Automated reload is pretty badass, but no. So we might see the final boss. We ain't gonna think, beat him. I think we're gonna just like go, ah! I think y'all need to show faith. Oh, okay. This would be a miracle if you could fucking pull it off. It's not a miracle, it's a death sentence. Oh. Yeah, just go straight through the center. We know how this is gonna so end now. this become the fucking dirty dozen with a fucking death sentence. Suicide. As we have four lasers and the big ship has four shields, we will effectively take down all of their shields on a good day and cause them no damage. <laughs> we are. We are about to fucking die. 
since there's no one in the galaxy seems to spend money on guns. Everyone that's in the galaxy except us, that is. Well, Did we you find lots and lots of fucking missile pods. I've got automated reloader. That's something. This is the last sector. It is. So we can reload. You know what? I think because oh, of the asteroids! Fuck! <coughs> so, asteroid fields are simply this. Jump. Oh god, he's got a stealth as well. Unless you can somehow make it give you a gun, jump. We'll just see how it goes. You know what? A fucking challenge accepted. I'm gonna kill this one. Take out the stealth first. That's your biggest threat. Didn't... Health, shield, weapons, O2, doors. I thought automatic reloader. Makes it fucking reload that they're ten percent faster than they would be. Well, that's... It's essentially having a guy on the system. They have a missile launcher. Right, asteroid fields in case you haven't already noticed, this essentially it's just random shots being fired at us of both of us. And there goes the oxygen. And boom goes the dynamite. So yes, my biggest qualm with this game was the fact I never watched when my oxygen room was damaged and my crew started slowly suffocating and I never realised. Even when most of the rooms in my ship went red, I still didn't quite click on until it was too late. And the oxygen room, well the health room is dead. It's the end of something or other, we're losing power to all essential systems, the shields have gone and he's cloaked again. In fairness, they have fastly Yeah, jump, Mike. No! Mike, jump. No! Mike. Come on, let's see if Look at all that shit we just jumped from. It just looked like we left a disco. Give them the requested missiles. We're not using anything. We're not using the missiles. My missiles! We're not using the missiles! My missiles! Alright. I will take them to the grave. You're gonna take them to the grave. In about five minutes. In about, yeah. Put your shields You're back in. You're optimistic, aren't you? Five minutes. Excuse me while I sit here for four and a half minutes. <laughs> Yeah, it is a very good game. I downloaded it once I've seen the guys play. We've unlocked about half a dozen ships between us. They, I think, have they been, well, they've been good with content? How's that going? It's not expanded. Yeah, you've got, if you've got the advanced edition, that's as far as it goes. But still, pretty good game. I'd, I'd highly recommend it. I thoroughly enjoyed it myself. If you, if you can get to the repair ships, they will give you a shitload of scrap. Prefer a fat rebel ship, we're gonna get our ass hammered. That's why I said fuck them. Well, I mean, to take a scenic route to find the fucking ship. No, no, if we get those two repair things, they'll give us a load of scrap, and we can move a lot faster than that big ship. Oh, good night. That's two attack guards. But yeah, you get all the way to Sector 8 if you have no decent weapons, which is exactly what situation we're in. Right, what they've got, to give you a quick rundown, on the ship to the right, you'll see a laser beam, you'll see a shooty laser, and you'll see a bomb deployer, which teleports bombs inside. You've got two bastard drones on the outside, one that fires a single shot, one that's a laser. Lasers do no damage to shields, but they're incredibly damaging to your inner systems. And they also draw a line. You'll actually see a line go through three or four different rooms that can also cause fire. So lasers are good if you can get the shields down. So... It's a good job I don't fucking have one at the minute. The only thing about it is, that with, with the fact we've got someone skilled on guns and we've got the automatic reloader, our guns fire an awful lot more. Get Above off cameras, Adam, too! I might have just noticed that, you dick! Oh, you might want to save positions, Mike. Just so he doesn't actually go back there. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Fuck that guy. Yeah. Whee! Oh, shit. Yeah, we're doomed. He's got the anti ship battle fleet as well. Right, the humans will teleport in twos, they're medium kind of like, but they suffocate quite quickly. Um, the other thing about it is, you will notice that they're firing a missile at us, and they've got that big ass laser that we fear so much, the one that kicked their ass last time. One, two, three, four, five, five shots. Five shot laser. And a missile launcher. You'll also see these big balls of lightning in the background flying through fast. And that hit us, right, right in the O2 room. Okay, you need to somehow fix the room with the whole breach while it's the vacuum of space. Yeah, he's dead. Right, now repair the O2 room. The trick to this one's going to very simply be try and repair it as fast as possible before everybody dies, and if they start dying, get them out of there quickly. They've done it. Now need to fix the O2 room. Get out. Hang on. 
And now you have to use the other guys. Yeah. Before they suffocate. And the only unfortunate thing about it is until that O2 is repaired, at least enough for us to breathe a little bit, everyone else is on exceptionally low health. There we go. Now you need to heal everyone. Yeah! Well, we let the room re we let the air repopulate through, and then everyone goes to the med bay. To the med bay. To the med bay. For the record, me and Spike will start me black. Eventually. We're not got, you know, we've got some names in mind, but most of them are copyright. Wait, why, no, are we, no, why are we suffocating again? Is there a door exposed to space? No. No. There's another hole, bro. Press space, have a look. Are you sure on your doors are exposed We've lost one. Oh shit, it's not powered. You've not put you, it <laughs> You know! The one thing I've said three <laughs> times not to do. Yeah, we've kind of fluffed so it now. So now all that's left is us three. Great. So, Mike has effectively, while fixing the O2 breach, still suffocated his crew by not turning on the air he repaired. <laughs> Y'all are just jealous. On the boss level as well. Yeah. We're literally down to the th only three people we can fit in the med bay. That's not the it's, 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 fitting it's ended the again. way it began. <laughs> Minus Adam. Oh dear lordy. Right, I think we Hello, should. Just... No, no. <laughs> I just <laughs> spent my scrap. Well, store to the left. Yeah, <laughs> just go to the base. Go to the go base. Go anyway. <laughs> no, just go to the base. It's too late now. Just, just warp as quick as we can. Just survive as long. Oh my God, it's got a Pegasus. Let's just see if we can actually. Just see warp. The giant just, just the warp. Just, just. Warp. It's got four bars of shields, guys. It's got four bars of shields. <laughs> we have four guns. <laughs> If the shields don't fully... Oh, here it comes. Bosh! Sensors. And a hull breach. No, no hull breach. Fuck off about in danger! So, this is how it ends. Now, just as there's something a little bit different, their shield actually has a gun drone on it, meaning if we were firing missiles, that gun drone would shoot the missile out of the air. Unless there were multiple missiles, like... Oh, I don't know. Like the Pegasus fires? Yeah. Pegasus. See, there's no denying that the Pegasus is one of the best guns in the game. Unfortunately, I, I don't think it. I've actually fucking seen it since I completed this. Wow, it's like having a bad day in the engine room. I am. You're about to have a bad day in there too. No, it looks like we're alright. It's just the fact we've got no health. We've got no healing factor. Right, I'm on it. now this is where we health up, repair up, and hope for the fucking best, because we've got eight scrap and no fucking chance. That's it, we do both of those things that we can't do at the moment. We're a bit dead. So there's no point actually even trying to repair the sensors, because now, well, there is. We're going to make it as damn fucking difficult as we can. There is, a there, is a, there is a good thing about repairing the sensors, because they do actually give us something, even if they're unmanned. I'll tell you what, Mike could let them win. <laughs> he just waits in this sector for three turns. Yeah, I'm saying, the base, if you, you don't actually if, off the base and wait for three turns. No, but to be fair, if I wanted to let us win, I'd just click that twice. Then open up all the <laughs> airlocks and suffocate us all into space. Right, uh, heal me up and then repair the sensors just for the sake of shits and giggles, because it'll it'll allow us so to see, see nothing. No, I refuse to giggle. It'll be um, it'll allow us to see the rooms, but not what's in the rooms. It's okay, I know the enemy ship. Yeah, we know this. We know this boss ship well enough by now. This is, this is the boss ship where there is only, at maximum, two rooms that you should ever give a shit about. Shields and missile launchers. Yeah, because the missile launcher is a bastard. Bring it, hey, fuckface! It's got three shields. And club. We got fucking die, boys! I, I, the cloak is a really annoying thing because it, it doesn't allow you to charge your weapons while they're cloaked. While their weapons are charging. First thing we've got to do is get rid of their their rocket launcher. Three laser beams. Three missiles. One, two, three. Yeah, all of their guns. O2's gone. Oh. O2's Fuck gone. The, O2. the hands are behind the head. Not a single fuck is given. I'll do. <laughs> Help! We've been hijacked. Come on, I refuse. Not after all this. Oh, great. Ah, we're dead. 
We're dead, we're dead, we're dead. Ban that room, you won't be able I to get this fight. I don't know what you want. You're killing yourself. What do you want from me? There's nothing we can do. We can, I suppose. We're dead. We are dead. We are thoroughly dead. All this time, all this work. And because Spike was the last person to touch the mouse, the oh. loss is on him. Yeah, you're a dick. Mate, I got us here. You're dead in a bare bone room. Yeah, we're dead. Mike's dead. Yeah, there we go. That's why, Michael, you fixed that whole breach. Do not believe in your, like, impending doom. We actually have rendered their shields down to, well, it was down to two, bless him. That's it, Michael. Diligently just chop away. And he's gone. Oh, great. Last man standing. All our hopes reside on Steve making it. And I'm just saying, like, I've got fire for shit. <laughs> do 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 do. These do, do, buttons do, do, do. do things. <laughs> Random flailing because we didn't put face cam on this video because there's no way to actually put it. Ah, the other one is now finally in my room. Yeah. Will they kill us or all? Yep. All your crew members have died. Oh, shit, we'll continue to drift for eternity or until we lose this room. And on that or note, or until that bastard just keeps firing because he's already there. Yeah. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we bid you a fair good evening. This has been Fire Button, and this has been Fire Faster Than Light, FTL. And this has been a Travis. Laters. See ya.